very hot and bothered. Just done my Sainsbury shop. I spent a blooming fortune today. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna whack the kettle on because I am gasping for a cup of tea. So I'm gonna just do that. And then I will, as usual, put the prices on the screen because everything's gone up. I think on a daily basis, they're just whacking 10p on expecting you just to accept it. I mean, what can you do though? Right, a cup of tea. My house is a complete shambles today. I need to get on it. I've got, I sorted out a pile of washing, but it's still on the bedroom floor. Um, there's probably two loads I need to do, but because I'm not using the tumble dryer, I'm just using the areas, I'm just gonna have to stagger it a bit make do uh, yeah I'll put I've finished in the tea first it's got a brew anyway okay let's crack on with the fridge stuff first I've got it in one of those um Aldi fridge bags it's all my <laughs> I need that to go through and put the prices on for you guys. Okay, first up, I've got some eggs. Let me go for a lot of eggs. I've got a leek and potato soup. Um, this was just on offer, so I thought I'd grab it to have over the weekend. It's Friday today. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice then. Did you hear that? It sounded like I'd been auto tuned. I wish. Uh, yes, yeah, Friday today, so we're having date night tonight. We're just going to our local pub, have a bite to eat, have a couple of glasses of wine, have a catch up. It's walkable, so um, makes a nice change. Four pinter of semi skimmed milk, another butter. I actually really like that one, I think it's absolutely fine. Another orange juice. I ran out of this yesterday, so this morning I didn't get to have an orange juice, and it made me really sad. I got a small tub of the finest, no, not finest, Taste the Difference Luxury Coleslaw. This one's really nice. I love, I prefer homemade. They used to sell the um, cheats bag of the onion, carrot, and cabbage already shredded for you. You just have to add your mayo and season in, and they don't do it anymore. It's really annoying. Um, I got a four pack of these um, chocolate fix pots. They looked quite nice. I'm not doing it because of the calories, they just look nice. Um, and then I got these ones. I've got the grandbabies um, over it's half term. Um, they're coming over for the day so their mum and dad can sort out storage for the Christmas presents. Um, so yeah, they're coming over for the day. So I thought I'd get some bits and bobs in for them. Some ham. Some mozzarella cheese. I'm going to be doing a food video this week at some point. Um, because I... We ordered this um, uh, hot shot chicken palm, palmy. Oh, it's really, really yummy. And I found a video on... Um, how to make that so i'm going to do that this week and share that with you guys i've got a block of cheese I've got a primula i love this stuff this is so yummy on bagels and toast i've got a pack of bacon to have um tomorrow morning some mints I don't like the low fat um, mints, you know, I've tried, it's, I, I, I really notice a difference, I don't like it, 20% all the way for me. A couple of chicken breasts, and a whole chicken, these are really expensive now, I mean, I know I don't buy organic or anything like that, corn fed, what not. Um, that medium um, chicken was £4.50. I think that's scandalous. 
Uh, these bags are not very well organised. I start off with the intention, I put all the bags in the trolley and I start off with the intention that I'm going to do it in the order that they get put away. But that all goes out of the window when I'm trying to, because I use my phone to scan. Um, so I'm trying to scan the thing. I've got my shopping list, which I do take now, which has really made such a big difference. It's a right old mess, but it really does help me. And um, yeah, so I end up just chucking it in any old hell anyway. So, oh, that's Martin's prescription. <laughs> I was like, what's that? <laughs> yeah, Martin's prescription. Um, so my eldest granddaughter, um, she told me yesterday that she really likes a pot noodle. <laughs> really funny. Um, it's funny when they try things like that for the first time. Um, so I thought I'd get her. She likes the chicken and mushroom. This was £1.20. I am in shock. That I, can't, I could not believe. I almost didn't and thought I'd go to B&M. But going to B&M will cost Martin an absolute bomb. So we'll take the £1.20 here. Yeah, that was shocking, but I picked her up that anyway. Um, got some more um, panty liners. These are the fresh scent, lovely, nice, clean, fresh all day. Because when you're perimenopausal, you never know when you're going to be bleeding. I've been bleeding on and off for the last three weeks since I started the HRT. Honestly, it's it's not, it's not heavy or anything like that. Just spotting every other day. I know it's probably TMI with a food haul, but hey ho. Got my Dol Dolmio. I did try the other one from the Lidl. No, not for me. Stick with that, thank you very much. Got my rigatoni because I need to fill up my jar. And then my uh, youngest daughter, JJ, she said that Amelia really likes these um, pasta stars. And um, the other grandbabies all love pasta as well. So I think it's equal like this. I, I like giving them tiny little things like this because I have such anxiety about choking, honestly. Then I got, I needed some chilli powder and some ground ginger for a recipe that I'm doing. Um, I got some hay fever tablets because I'm taking one of these each day to help try and help with my itchy scalp. Um, I've got two boxes of paracetamol. That's all you're allowed to buy. Um, so I stopped with that. Got another toothpaste to put in the cupboard. Shower gel for Martin. Uh, I got a jar. No, it's not a jar. I got a. I got a thing of mayo. What's it called? A bottle. Yeah, that will do. A bottle of mayo. And then I've got Martin's deodorant. I've told you before, we we really only really like the Dove. And then myself. Can you hear her? I'm just going to fill up her food and let her in because she won't shut up otherwise. She's already been in this morning. already been in this morning okay yeah I'm back go on then fill it up don't stress you're not gonna starve poor little darling <laughs> um, right so that bag's done as well what's in this one Ooh. so I picked this up because um, I'm going over to my friend's house uh, on Wednesday evening and she said that this is her favourite um, wine so I obliged in bringing the she said she's going to do like a baked camembert and some bread and chilli jam and that just sounds yummy and um, she said that I wasn't allowed to bring anything but I said I'm going to be really upset I can't come empty handed I think that's really rude <laughs> So I've got that. I've got some um, sesame um, bagels. These were on offer. We absolutely love this with the Primula. Um, or, you know, I love the sweet chilli Philadelphia. That's really nice as well. Um, that wasn't on offer. I've got some more plain flour because my jar is pretty much empty. Um, and... Yeah, it's from Yorkies and things like that. Got a loaf of bread. 
running out of space over there. I've got a big bag of um, the white onions. I have onions to everything anyway. And I've got red for my chicken parmi. I've got a... Um, what is this? It is... I've got a yeast. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, and then I picked up one of these. I, so I don't know if you everyone seen my um, no need bread um, that I got from Jenny. I think her name is Jenny. I'm going to feel really terrible if it's not. I did link it all in the video anyway. And I saw this, which is uh, just a crusty white bread mix that you put in a loaf tin. So it says so there's a bread machine method which i don't have but i'm considering getting if any of you ladies have a bread machine and um you love it can you please um let me know what you think what one you have and what you think so it says you add some warm water lukewarm um some butter some oil then you mix it in a large bowl Rub with the fingertips until the mi mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs, and then you mix in the water to make a soft dough. Knead well on a lightly floured surface for about 10 minutes until smooth and elastic, then place back in the bowl and cover loosely with oiled cling film. Leave the dough in a warm place for about an hour, and then tip the dough out onto a lightly floured surface. Knead well, place in a greased two pound loaf tin and cover loosely with a lightly oiled cling film, leave the dough in a warm place for about half an hour and then pop into a preheated oven for 30 minutes. Oh, you can make, you can use this making rolls and it's half the time. But because I got the soup, I thought, do you know what? I'll give this one a go and see what the difference is. I picked up some pepper for my chicken army. Potatoes. I told you before we just use the Maris Pipers for my roast potatoes. And then the last bag is full of again random stuff. Oh, so I've got three of Martin's porridges, golden syrup ones um, for work. I think he's already got some and on Thursday, Thursday evening, we're going up. He's, um, get your words out now, love. <laughs> he's got training in Norwich. Um, so I'm going with him. I'm not, I'm not training, obviously. I'm just going to stay in the lovely hotel. And, um, yes, yeah, so we're going up Thursday evening because he's got the training on Friday. But we're going to stay the Friday night as well um for our little date night um so yeah it's a nice hotel i'll i'll film um while i'm there anyway like um yeah i don't know what's around and how far away i am from anything if i'm quite local to some shops then i might see if there's some like charity shops because the ones around here are very expensive i've got some golden breadcrumbs that i need for the chicken parmy Picked up Martin some uh, sour cream and chai pretzels. I really, really was looking for those. Um, you know the uh, what they called? What's how many are left? <laughs> the um, oh the jumbo um, sweet and smoky barbecue rings from Sainsbury's. These are yummy. They did not have any. Um, I can smell amazing. <laughs> so yeah, they didn't have any more of those, so I just picked them up some pretzels. It's got some white and uh, Kinder Bueno. These are amazing in the fridge. Really delicious. Martin really likes these, the Aero salted caramel. No, they're just chocolate caramel. I, I they weren't they weren't salted, I lied. Um Got some Turkish delight. I know these aren't everyone's cup of tea, but me and Martin really like them. So, yeah. Got some club biscuits. And some little animal Freddo little chocolate biscuit things. Got 
my stuff in for Sunday. Picked up a little pillow rice bag for mine. Uh, although I'm not sure what leftovers would go with that, but hey ho, I've got a little passata to bulk out my Don Mio because we have that for two dinners. And the family size jar of Don Mio was uh, £2.50. I weren't paying that. I picked up a, a new plug-in refill. Uh, this one is the Vanilla and Magnolia. Oh yeah, it smells really nice. Very nice. Um, picked up some dark soy sauce for our chicken fried rice that we have on a Monday. Um, lastly, I hope I did get everything on the list. I just picked up some face, um, no they're not, they're the cotton wool pads <laughs> for removing the face of an evening and that my lovelies is that i'm knackered it was really busy i really really don't like doing my food shop on a friday um yeah and and i always go in there so a little prayer before i go in there to fill me with peace and patience because it is tested in there trust me it's tested there seems to be so many of those um are they called pickers um that um pick for online food orders they block up the whole aisle then you've got people topping up things but then the shelves are half empty so you think what well, are you actually topping up sorry I'm, I'm proper whinging that's really negative and then yeah you just get people that you know decide to have a conversation and block up the whole aisle or they have the trolley sideways across the aisle while they're looking and the thing is i feel like i'm so considerate like most of the time i park my trolley right at the end of the aisle against a flat wall so no one's got to worry about what's behind it because there's nothing there and then i'll walk up and down the aisle picking up the things that i actually need yeah oh, what an angel i am <laughs> oh wind 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 sorry i i am actually feeling okay today to be fair i haven't for the last couple of days i've been in, been on a little bit of a um again um but today i woke up in a good mood and i wasn't going to go food shopping until later i thought oh, i'll get i'll just wait until martin comes in um but we tend to spend double the amount when he's with us so when he's with me sorry so i thought no i'll just i'll just do it on my own get it out of the way over and done with and then i thought about doing it tomorrow but we're having a grandbaby uh, for a few hours so that my daughter and son-in-law can have like a little date night themselves so yeah i thought no do you know what i'll just get it out of the way it will take an hour of your day just go and do it it's done then you've got all because literally i've got nothing in but i did i have bought some snacky things as you've seen but that's because i know that the grandbabies come around it's half term um i want them to be able to have some options and sorry um i don't have nits this is part of the perimenopause it's driving me insane guys like literally insane um i'm sorry i'm really waffling do you know what i'm gonna get my cup of tea i'm gonna whack the stuff in the fridge get, have my cup of tea and i've got some um cherry scones from last night <laughs> i'm gonna have one of those got some clotted cream and jam in the um fridge and then i need to get more I, i'm just gonna get on it i'm gonna i'm gonna sit down and have that as a like get my energy and then i'm gonna crack on get the washing in run the hoover around so that when we go out on our date night tonight i'm not like leaving the house with a complete tip nice cup of tea and a scone i hope that you guys are all absolutely amazing and i've realized yet again that i've done no intro so th this is where i'm gonna gonna do it but you won't see this bit because i'll cut it out okay Good morning everyone, my name's Leanne, welcome to my channel. I hope that you're all amazing. If this is your first time here, then a very warm welcome. 
um, if you're a returning uh, subscriber I love you guys um, you know the you are amazing all your lovely comments I, I just adore it um, but if you are new here and you think who is this Nata? <laughs> I'm Leanne I'm 43 I'm a wife mother uh, Nana um, my children are grown up, left home, have their own families now and I am currently going through the perimenopause which is probably the biggest impact of my life right now. I'm very much like this and I'm discovering who I am again. I've got to find the new me. Oh my gosh, there's a window cleaner coming across my garden. He's going to look through the <laughs> I do weird stuff like that as well. Um, yeah my my life is going to be a little bit like this but i do um shopping hauls as you've just seen no you're about to see because this is the intro that i'm doing <laughs> i do um dodgy cooking dodgy cleaning um there will be some like day in the life that'll probably be really dodgy as well and but i do try and be as positive as i can with things i don't want any negativity on this channel so if you think she's not for me i don't like her just move on like i am i am marmite you're either going to like me or you're gonna hate me and that's absolutely fine but we don't need to hear about it <laughs> there's plenty of other people to watch on youtube but if you do think I quite like her then honestly it means means the world if you just give a thumbs up if you liked it um subscribe it's free hit the notification bell so you know when I know when I upload a video because that's all over the place that'll be whenever um, I've done one <laughs> and I'll try and do my best to be as honest and open and share Pretty much everything but not everything <laughs> of my life um anyhow so i'm gonna love and leave yous all there i hope that you have an amazing weekend whatever you guys are doing and if this is past the weekend when you see it please just let me know what you've been up to give me some ideas like what i can do um and oh and if you happen to know the norwich area at all and you have any recommendations of what i could do when i'm there um pop it in the comment section because I'd love to have some ideas because I've never been there before don't know haven't got a clue um but yeah I want you to all remember how amazing you ladies are and gentlemen if you happen to watch as well um your life matters in this world regardless of what you think and, or what your brain tells you on bad days um you're here for a reason that's all I'm gonna say you're here for a reason so if you ever need anything, you're struggling at all with anything, please reach out. Um, yeah, I don't want anyone to ever be suffering because, you know, life is a bit sucky at the moment, isn't it? And yeah, we all need to be a bit kinder and um, share the love with each other. And I will love and leave you there. Lots of love. God bless.